Yo, what up, Benny Benny? Sam, what's up, Kate? Just because now I'm married. Eagles! So I'm married to this point because, like, Demi Demi fam, welcome to another vlog. Sorry, I have to turn on the light because it's freaking getting dark. I am very sorry for starting the vlog late. Once again, I keep forgetting about the vlog, so I keep starting it late. Winter, what are you doing in there? Winter and Miguel still think that's their cage just because it's in that area. Come here, Jules. Oh, wow. Okay. Go fat me, girl. God. Anyways, I am doing absolutely nothing today. This day's already over. But you know, I did absolutely nothing today because, you know, what can you do when you don't feel like hanging out with anyone and you don't got plans? And I don't even got a ride anywhere. But, why does this person always text me so late? Like, I don't give a damn anymore. After he just texts me after two hours. But yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. Hey, you! Stop flirting with Janet! You got a wife. Go! Get your fat ass out of there. Go. Go. Thank you, sir. Seriously? Just only one minute. I'm sorry if my vlogs keep seem like they keep getting well, shorter and shorter because they basically are because I'm absolutely doing nothing and there is absolutely nothing going on except my party in two days I'm so excited plus nervous and scared because so many people are going but like a person isn't going anymore in sadness but you know I don't care well I do care I do care it's just that it's fine. It's understandable. They have work. So. Yeah! Okay, now I feel like I'm a bad person. I'm that everyone can't go like I wanted it to be. There's always got to be that one person who can't go. Plus, oh, Dolly's still hasn't let me know if she can go or not. Because if she has to, like, she's probably not going to go because she never goes anywhere. She's supposed to let me know by tomorrow. And if she don't let me know, I'm going to confront her. And she's probably going to leave me unopened. And she's probably going to say no. So, eh. People suck. But yeah, there's absolutely nothing going on today and tomorrow. Absolutely nothing tomorrow. I'm going to be bored again tomorrow. I don't... <sighs> it's sad. Sunday's the only exciting day. After Sunday, every day is just going to be boring. They made a second opening? I'm sorry. But yeah, nothing's going on. How long is this? Three minutes. But yeah. 
uh, after my birthday, there's nothing to look forward to anymore, because freaking corona ruined everything, except, uh, going back to school. I'm so not ready for that, like, I don't want to go back to school. School makes my anxiety really bad. Every single day, my stomach hurts, because my anxiety, my social anxiety, like, going to any social event. I'm going to be nervous, and there's going to be symptoms with that, and I always get a stomach ache right before school, and it really sucks. I hate it, and people don't understand. They think I'm just shy, but I'm not. It's way more than just that. I'm telling you, it's freaking everything. My stomach hurts. I'm freaking sweating. I can't even think straight, so I avoid even talking to anybody. Like, I'm trying to put more effort into talking to people now. Like, I'm trying to get my confidence. Like, I never had any confidence to begin with. I always had social anxiety since kindergarten or whenever. All I know was I always had social anxiety since I was a little kid. And bullying, bad stuff happens. And yeah, I just don't want to go back to school. But I know I have to, like, I know the school is really messed up right now, like, we don't even know if we're doing virtual or going. I think we're going, or you have the choice of going to school or doing virtually. I would do both, because, like, sometimes I would like a break from going to school, and sometimes I would just like to go to school, just so I'm not at home all the time, because, like, when I'm at home, I'm bored, and I feel like I'm not accomplishing anything. Like, I like facing my fears, but I hate feeling that feeling of fear. Like, I try to avoid as many things as possible because it triggers my social anxiety. Like, school really does. The work makes me stress. Being around people makes me stress. And I don't think that much stress is good for you, and I don't know how to stop it, and I freaking won't get any help. So I, I have to figure out what to do on my own. Like, I've been trying to face things all on my own, and I just don't know what to do half the time. Like, I am trying really hard to get through my social anxiety disorder, which nobody understands when I try to explain it to them. Like, it's way more than just me being shy and scared to talk to people, like... It's way more than that. I've been struggling with this my whole life. And just to sum it up, that, yeah, she's just shy. I'm like, all that struggles and everything. And you're just going to put a label on me that I'm just shy. People even thought that I spoke a different language when I first went to the school. Not the school that I go to now, but my middle school. Because I didn't talk to anyone. I didn't. I was just scared and anxious because of my fucking social anxiety i don't get to choose to be scared and anxious about things if 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 it was my choice i wouldn't be scared like i don't see what's there to be scared about but my social anxiety makes me find ways to be scared about it makes me have thoughts of like me messing up or whatever saying the wrong thing or embarrassing myself like I'm just wondering what even happened to me for me to have social anxiety. Like, I looked up online, you're not born with it, so I want to know what happened. And I'm trying really hard to get through it, but you know, it's just hard. And I just want people to know that it's not just shyness. And people like to make fun of me just because I don't talk and that I'm different. And it's just irritating. People don't understand when I tell them they feel bad, and I don't want people to feel bad, so sometimes I just don't tell them. And I try really hard to meet up to their expectations, but, you know, there's always those awkward moments because I don't know what to say at that time. I don't even know how this vlog got to me talking my, about my social anxiety, like... Yeah, it's good to talk about your social anxiety. It's a big part of my life. And I do want people to understand what I'm going through. But, like, my social anxiety does not define everything about me. Like, there are lots of people that have the same disorder as me. But not as much people 
that you would think. Like, I'm pretty sure if you went to any school, there would be, like, only one person or whatever. And, like, I don't even know. For all the schools I've been to, I was the only person like this. So, like, people don't understand. But I know a lot of people, and I met them online. They talked about their own experiences. And you gotta understand, we all have different personalities. Like, I am my own person. Even though we all suffer through the same thing. Like, I know people who don't have the disorder are not gonna understand. And not gonna make a big deal about it. It's not like ADHD or autism or whatever. But it's still a disorder that stops me from doing normal things normal tasks and that's really bad and my parents won't get me help for it and people like to make fun of a disorder and I just want you guys to know it's an actual thing and if people from my school watch my channel I hope you understand that I'm not trying to be rude or stuck up and I don't choose to be the way I am. And I'm trying really hard to get through it. So. Yeah. And even though people do get help for it. It never does go away. Like it's still there. and It never does go away. So that sucks. But you can just go through it. Like. There are some certain situations where I know how to control my social anxiety like if i'm hyper that stops me from being anxious like if i'm happy or whatever but like if it's quiet and yeah if it's quiet that's when i start getting anxious like uh, how do i break this awkward silence like i feel like everyone's turning to me to talk and i'm like i gotta be the first person to talk otherwise it's gonna be silent the whole time and that's really hard for me to do because I hate being the center of tension. But yeah, I hope you understand my disorder now. Okay, well, I'm very disappointed because, like, Savannah and Savannah both canceled on me. And, like, <laughs> but I mean, they had very valid reasons, but still, I'm very sad. But oh well. Tomorrow we're going skating, and I'm excited for that, but also excited for the beach, because, like, I've been waiting all week for that, and I'm going skating with Lindsay, and she invited <coughs> my ex-best friend, so I, she might be there. I have no idea how it's going to be if she is there. But, if she's there, I'm killing myself. It's a joke. But, yeah, if she's there, I'm not going to be happy. Like, I really don't care if she's going to be there, but I do want to see if she does show up, because, yeah. But she's probably not going to, because we invite her a lot. So, let me see. Lindsay just texted me. If she was going, Lindsay would have told me right away, so she's probably not going. And I guess I'm fine with that, because I don't really care if she does go. Oh yeah, I'm going to say until 10.30, and I'll look right now, she just texted. Oh! Mm, okay, well, I hope you guys like this video, please like, subscribe. Put good comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to have a good day. Check out yesterday's vlog and check. stay tuned in for tomorrow's vlog. You'll find out tomorrow whether or not Angie's going. I'll tell you guys because right now I'm going to look at what Lindsay just said. So yeah, you'll see tomorrow. Okay, so finally I'm going to Hello, welcome to the